Hello, sweet souls. Happy um, Sunday. And I believe it is the 13th of February. So I was actually doing a reading for myself and I was told to post it because this is going to resonate for uh, many of you that watch. So um, we're gonna call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending ill will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer. I did call on the Holy Spirit, angels, and saints and asked what message uh, for, for the greater good. What message do we need to know? And this actually was for me. So I'm going to get started. So the first card you got is the Wheel of Fortune. Things are, are turning in your favor now. Okay. This is also about fate. There are certain things that happened in your past that was fated to happen. It was meant to happen. It had to happen. Um, this Ten of Swords pain that you went through, this deception, um, you know, betrayals, people stabbing, stabbing you in the back. It had to happen in order for you to be in this Queen of Swords energy. You know, really speaking your truth, living your truth, believing in yourself and knowing you deserve better than what you were receiving in the past and cutting people out of your life. This faded um, happening that caused so much suffering was what caused this death and rebirth, this awakening in your life. Um, and through this transformation, this awakening, you started to see who was a karmic and who wasn't. Um, you know, who was in alignment with you and who isn't. This isn't just about love. This is friendships. This is family. This is people in your circle that you can see were karmic. They were taking more than they were giving. They were siphoning your energy. Now, I do see that someone is coming in wanting to give an offer. This is a karmic soulmate. This is love. Karmic, though. This person is heavily burdened. Uh, heavily burdened because of their choices. Now they want a passionate new beginning. But this person is is a knight, okay? This isn't a king. This is a knight. They're heavy in regret. They're heavy in regret because you chose yourself. And you see from a different perspective who this person is, who this energy is, what they're about. And you took your power back. You're in the Queen of Wands energy, proud and confident, driven. Um, there's a sudden change coming in your life. This sudden change is being proud, confident, and independent, financially well off. And it's because you turned your back on the past and you know that amazing things are coming in your life. Divine timing was at play. You are releasing any sadness from the past and you've completed that cycle. You are learning to love yourself once again. You are learning to allow happiness back into your life, healing and wish fulfillment. It's taking you to the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Complete emotional fulfillment and financial abundance. Now, I'm going to tell you, I went to the bottom of the deck because they, they guided me to the bottom of the deck. There are so many opportunities coming in um, that's associated with what is driving you right now. Your dr the driving force. This is um, career. I feel really strongly feel this is career. This is you um, having these ideas and starting these passionate new beginnings and they're the divine is stepping and giving you so many opportunities in regards to this new passion. You are being enlightened, okay? You are taking all the experiences that you learned, all of the pain that you've learned, ever, that you've gone through in the past, and you are making this part of what empowers you, what gives you the drive, the strength to move forward and to protect yourself, okay? You are investing everything time, attention, and energy into your creative endeavors. You're focused on your own stability. Now, for many of you, you have this King of Cups. It can be a water sign. doesn't have to use someone that will be emotionally, um, have a lot of emotion for you, okay? This will be a commitment, and it will be an equal give and take, okay? It will be. Now, they are saying there is a per person from the past that came out as the karmic that you had waited for, but they didn't take any action. They're stuck in their head and all they can do now is watch you because they are experiencing karma. Um, so much internal and external conflict um, all due to their lies, their secrets. This person is trapped. You have stability and divine love coming in as well as a possible air sign, which can be, which shows me it is a divine partnership because we have the queen and king of swords here. And this is something that you manifested. I see great strength and protection in your near future. 
Great strength and protection. I'm gonna go on to another deck. Came out quick. Yep, Eight of Pentacles. Really uh, investing your time, your attention, your energy on your creative endeavors. And again, you go from the eight to the nine. Okay, look at this. You are the lady of luxury, grounded, stable, and financially secure. This is validation for what came out in the first deck. Wow. Okay. So, yeah, you, you've been in hermit mode. You've been in this self-reflective period. You've gained so much wisdom. You are so much smarter than you ever were in the past. You are very enlightened and you have this new drive, this new drive to follow this passion that you're being guided to follow and that you're taking a leap of faith. You're taking this leap of faith. And it's leading to your 10 of pentacles. This, so only four cards have come out of this deck. We, we have the 10 of pentacles again, generational wealth. Something big is happening. This is so much abundance, stability. This is you being set for the rest of your life. I'm not saying you don't have to work for it, but I'm saying it's there and it's coming. Yeah, why? Again, because you took your power back from people that tried to take it from you. Now you are this queen of wands, whether you're a man or a woman. You are so strong, so empowered, so driven. No one can take that crown from you. No one, because you know with God's help what you can create. Financial security, stability. Taking your power back has resulted in being financially stable, secure, grounded, knowing your worth. Never again will you allow anyone to make you feel like you're not good enough or you're an option. Never. That will never happen again. Oh my gosh, you guys. So you remember the King of Cups that came out in the last reading? Well, now we just got the King and Queen of Cups. This is definitely a soulmate union. This is divinely guided. You are equal you are on the same spiritual level, and that's what's coming in. That's amazing. Like I said, it's divinely guided. It is divinely guided. This is your reward for all that you've suffered. You are so protected. The divine is saying, you know what? Stand in your power. Don't let people try to manipulate or play mind games with you ever again. You had to fight too hard to be where you are right now. And look what you got. Ace of Pentacles. A windfall of money. Opportunities that lead to so much financial security. And it is a gift. And it's yours. <sighs> yeah, so you are dropping this Ten of Swords pain that you experience. And this feeling of being juggled by another you're leaving it in the past. It's, it was a blessing to you. And that's what's bringing in these new emotional opportunities, the new emotional offers. Oh, okay. Well, I'm also getting that. Yeah. Where did it go? I thought one fell out. I'm also getting, okay. Because you're dropping this energy from the past that juggled you and the pain they caused you and you're moving ahead, now this person, this is just validating what came out in the first check, wants to rush in. There's still secrets and lies. They're still deceptive, but they've lost control and you are a success. You're a success. And, you know, they're in this state of confusion a self-realization that they have just screwed their life completely. So this is prompting this fast action by this deceiver. This comes out all the time, guys.
Yeah, this person wants to rush in. They're filled with anxiety over it because they know what they've done. They want to rush in and give you some sort of truth. But this person is a deceiver. So there is no truth that can come out of this person's mouth. You, on the other hand, are not focused on this person. You have released, ended the cycle, and you are going to be recognized for all that you have put out into the world, all the work, all the help you've given others. People will see you for who you are. Yeah. So you are no longer trapped in the illusion of other people's delusional thinking. You've gone within. You've found clarity from God. Okay? <clears throat> You protect all that you create, all that you are, all that you have, because you're the empress. You're abundant. You call abundance into your life. You've been through a lot, and there's no room in your life to, to worry, you know, to feel regret, to feel like anything was a missed opportunity or sadness over the past. This is not your energy because you're in the empress energy. This is the past person. But guess what? You have the wheel of fortune here. Things turning in your favor. Good luck. Good fortune. They're just saying, you know, don't let some past person that ruined their life, that made horrible decisions... Um, that's on a path of destruction, come in and cause you conflict because they're stuck in their ego. That's not your problem. You need to focus on your creative endeavors, plant those seeds, manifest because it's coming in for you. Yeah, because you made that hard decision. You chose yourself. You know there's nothing you can't do. Ace of Cups, divine love is coming in. New beginnings. Let's get one more. New beginnings with a past life soulmate that creates so much stability. So much stability moving forward. Joy, happiness, stable foundation. This is someone that will truly love you. Um, that is meant to be in your life. That gives you the Ten of Cups. Complete emotional fulfillment. Because you walked away from others' BS. Broken souls that refused to heal. You walked away. You suffered what you needed to suffer. You healed from your wounds and you just you walked away you ended it you're done now i'm going to go on and get advice really quick and see what comes out for the advice it's pretty amazing i mean there's no doubt we have abundance coming in a lot of abundance coming in changes happening in a big way that leads to Financial stability, um, stable foundation, so much happiness and joy, liberation, being your true authentic self, not being um, in a position where you care about anyone's judgment. You're just, this is complete liber liberation. Yeah. Okay, guys, look at this. Listen to your intuition, okay? You know that your intuition, what you need to know about any soul on this earth is inside of you. You feel it, you know it, okay? Listen to it. Continue to be in your empress energy, standing your power. If someone from the past comes back in, they're saying reconsider. You know, you're going to get more information, okay? You will. Whether this is intuitively or from external sources, you're going to get more information. Abundance is headed your way. Three decks. Three confirmations. Don't stop. You're on the right path. Okay, guys? That's amazing. It's a path to recovery. This is recovering all that was taken from you, whether this is someone that stole financially, your time, your attention, your energy, but is going to be given back to you in the form of abundance. And within the next few weeks is under that. Big changes are going to be starting to happen, guys. I love you. I hope this reading helped you. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.